Glory to Ukraine, glory to brave Ukrainian army. We will definitely win. Today I'd like you to show my rose. This is Floris rose, Shangri-La. And uh, as far as I know, as far as I have found, it was in, um, originally uh, grounded and bred, bred uh, for different florists' aims. By the way, in Ukrainian, we have um, we have such tendency that uh, that uh, varieties, rose varieties, which uh, were uh, bred uh, mainly for floristics, for florist shops, um, they became more and more popular, and uh, in some time, even those varieties which you can usually find in uh, different uh, shops florist shops you uh, you can find then eventually in our rose uh, households and then you can plant it uh, by plant them by in your gardens uh, in open ground interesting how is it in your country is it uh, also popular to grow florist uh, rose um, in the open ground in usual garden, rose garden. But let's uh, get back to our Shangri-La. And as you can see on the screen, it is uh, it can be really, mm, really different, of course, because uh, now you can see how it is, uh, how it looks like after mm, a week, approximately of uh, yeah, a, a week of life of a separate flower. Of course, it loses its decorativeness. Mm, but not so quick. You will still have a chance uh, to see it pretty beautiful. It's pretty great color, but still it can be as well <laughs> as uh, not so decorative as we want. But uh, first of all, and mainly we we buy in uh, such variety and uh, similar varieties because of their color. It's uh, deep, intense, and uh, it's interesting. It's not. So simple red or simple uh, pink. It's uh, had some, uh, some maybe palette of uh, rosemary, uh, beetroot. Yeah, very different color, color play, color palette. And uh, uh, as of this variety, um, it is uh, it has a classic hybrid um, flower with high center and uh, pretty good. Uh, pretty nice it will open slowly and it will show you different shades of this color and uh, in the first wave and uh, the second wave um, it will be a little bit different and of course it depends on the weather conditions it's pretty great after the uh, raining and uh, not under the heating sun so yeah, one of the uh, rows which um, which will be noticeable from far and uh, you will uh, be impressed by its color. But um, as of health, of course, it will not show you the best and perfect health conditions uh, as other rows which were uh, bred uh, for open ground and for yeah, usual planting in usual gardens, not for not for flowering, uh, not for uh, for floristics. Yeah, so this is this is about Shangri-La and would be grateful for your feedback in case you have it and very interesting how do you care about such varieties in your country. Thanks and bye.